all right students this is your accounting coach ard and today we are going to discuss ias international accounting standards also known as ifrs which is new name international financial reporting standards and the particular is which we need to discuss today is is2 inventory valuation as you may be aware of the word uh, inventory uh, which was previously known as stocks or goods but the newer term that the is use internationally is inventories now what are inventories inventory may be defined as international accounting standards as held for sale in the ordinary course of business means the goods that we have bought for sale if we have a shop uh, that is selling shoes maybe bata the inventory is shoes is inventory is in the process of production for such sale means we are not buying good from someone else we are producing the good for sale we are unilever and we are making shampoo so this is also inventory and thirdly uh, it can be work in progress inventory or it can be finished goods inventory uh, work in progress as you may be aware the goods that are incomplete and there are near to complete maybe they are 10% complete or 90% complete this is known as work in progress which is also form of inventory and there are uh, raw material inventory as you may be aware the plastic and the metals and the ingredients that are used to make a product chemicals these are all raw material inventory then we have finished goods inventory that the goods that are ready for sale this is also inventory then the third type of inventory which the is states is in the form of material or supplies to be consumed in the production process or in the rendering of services means uh, if, if we are a college or school we have inventory of stationery that we are using in the rendering of services there are markers there are dusters there are uh, pens pencils uh, so these are all uh, inventory and then uh, in the production process we may use some inventory such as there is oil or uh, lubricants or cleaning material or detergents so these are also known as inventory uh, then after defining inventory is move for further on defining nrv net realizable value net realizable value is basically the value that we get after selling the goods so the formula for net realizable value is basically fair value minus selling cost so we may read the official definition nrv is the estimated selling price means that the fair value that we are getting right now in the ordinary course of business less we need to deduct the estimated cost of completion and estimated cost necessary to make the sale means if we uh, uh, there is a inventory good uh, there is a mobile phone that we can sell for 20000 and out of which uh, there is a 1000 delivery cost that we need to incur so the net realizable value is basically 19000 20 minus 1000 that will be incurred uh, necessary to make the sale okay so after nrv we may move forward to the term fair value uh, fair value is actually basically market value so how the is defines the term fair value fair value is defined as uh, it is the amount for which an asset could be exchanged means uh, we are buying something we are paying cash one asset is going from us and another asset we are buying maybe stock exchange or a liability settled between knowledgeable willing parties in an arms length transaction now this term is important arms length arms length means that we are making a transaction on commercial basis and we are not giving any favor to any uh, means uh, maybe if we are selling goods to our brother so we may be consider charging a lower price or maybe we are selling goods to some of our relative we may consider selling it for less than that we are selling to some other customer that we do not know so is defines a fair value that is a transaction on arms length transaction arms length means uh, we are dealing with someone who we do not know and uh, we are not giving him or he is not giving us any favor been based on whether he knows us or do not know so is again defines inventory what are the things the, now this is the detail that we already discussed further uh, inventory that we have uh, purchased for resale this means uh, all the goods that we are buying for resale then there are finished goods the, the goods that we have produced ourselves in our factory then there are incomplete goods that are being in the process of being produced then there can be raw material that will be used in the production so this is also known as inventory measurement of inventory you may be aware 
of this uh, rule this is important rule of is2 this is inventory should be measured at lower of cost and nrv so this is one of the most important thing in the value closing inventory will be valuing it at cost or net realizable value lower of both of the values uh, let me uh, tell you an example uh, uh, please follow my example i am not writing it right now uh, you have a mobile shop and you have a mobile phone that you have bought for one thousand dollars so what is the original cost the mobile phone that you bought uh, for maybe iphone x you have bought for one thousand dollars this is the cost of the mobile phone that you have bought for resale now what is the net realizable value uh, maybe the iphone that uh, was bought by you for one hundred thousand so for one thousand dollars and after then the market price drops significantly and now the iphone only uh, values for eight hundred dollars so the fair value is eight hundred dollars now we are not finished yet we need to con calculate the net realizable value uh, maybe uh, if we are selling that phone at the what happened to our phone iphone uh, the the thing that happened the box of the iphone is damaged severely now how does this happen maybe we uh, mishandled this thing or maybe there was some water in our premises and therefore the phone uh, was not damaged the packing the original box of that iphone was damaged uh, now you may be aware uh, that an 800 dollar phone if someone buys from your shop he will consider buying it in a fresh condition and he will not buy a damaged phone uh, particularly the box that is damaged so what we need to know do we will be uh, buying another box maybe apple company is selling uh, an empty box for maybe 50 dollars so 800 is the fair value and 50 dollar is selling cost so what we will be getting we will be getting 750 dollar uh, after selling that iphone we will be getting 800 from the customer and we will be giving 50 dollar to apple company therefore we will end up getting 750 dollar for that iphone that originally cost us for thousand dollar now which is the lower value thousand dollar or 750 obviously 750 is the lower value so 750 is net realizable value and we'll be measuring this phone in our inventory at 750 and not 1000 uh, basically this is an application of uh, prudence concept prudence concept states that you may not overstate your assets and profits uh, means if there is a loss that can incur in particular future we will be consider uh, uh, recording that loss immediately but if we are we we are uh, certain not we are not certain uh, we think that we can earn some profit in near future that profit cannot be booked uh, unless and until that profit takes place that transaction takes place so this is the lower of cost in nrv in this concept uh, if we are applying prudence now in the similar example if i change the figure that the phone iphone that we are uh, now selling it for 800 after incurring 50 dollar cost we are getting a net realizable value of 750 that same phone if we have bought in a bargain offer for maybe 600 dollars uh, what we did there was a, a wholesaler that have bought phones in big quantity and we bought phones from him for maybe uh, 600 dollars now cost is 600 and net realizable value is again 750 which is the lower value the cost is now lower value so we we will uh, make sure that we will be considering 600 value and not the 750 value why we need to keep on the lower value and not the higher value i hope you are getting my point so uh, prudent state that you do not need to overstate profit so therefore we won't be uh, recording profits before they are uh, being materialized but we'll be recording losses before they are being materialized so then after is moves on cost of inventory is says that cost contains the purchase cost means if we are buying goods the purchase cost then there are there is cost of conversion now what is conversion means maybe we are a furniture manufacturer what we are doing we have bought wood and now we are converting that wood into furniture in chairs or desks maybe so the conversion cost contains labor cost 
and overheads. Overheads means all the indirect costs that are being incurred in a factory, electricity, rent and depreciation. So these are all conversion costs. Conversion costs are also part of invent. So this thing can be tested in a theory question as well. Other costs in bringing the inventory to present location and condition. Now I is to state any cost that is being incurred to bring inventory in present location and condition. Present location may be carriage inverts. As you may be aware, carriage invert is directly part of inventory. Uh, wherever we make income statement, we make the format opening, add purchase, add carriage invert. So therefore, carriage invert is added because it is basically part of inventory. If I'm buying inventory worth 1 lakh and I'm paying carriage cost of 5,000, this means inventory is now 105,000 for me. So uh, any cost that uh, this is necessary to bring the inventory in present location where it is kept right now and in present condition it will be included in cost of inventory. Again there is some more detail. So what is cost of purchase? This purchase cost can be detailed as purchase price that is uh, the invoice price. Then we have import duties. Import duties as you may be aware are also added in cost of sales. Uh, if I am importing a car from Japan the original price of well, which is maybe $10,000 and then I am paying duty to my customs department uh, $5,000 that that car is now uh, worth $15,000 for me. So any purchase price then any import duties plus other taxes this is also added. Then there is the shipment cost. Uh, the freight cost which is known as freight cost uh, this is the uh, delivery cost that the uh, ship cost that we are incurring this is also uh, will be added to the inventory cost then we have any discounts the discounts will be directed whether there are trade discount rebates or the similar discounts so this is the total cost then we will be directing any discount this is the cost of inventory. Cost of conversion, we have already discussed this. There can be uh, uh, direct cost that is material labor. Then there are overheads. Overheads may be indirect labor, indirect material, rent, electricity and so on. This is conversion cost. NRV have already discussed what is the term NRV means. NRV means the fair value. Then the cost that is necessary uh, to need to incur maybe delivery cost will be deducted. So this is NRV net realizable value. Fair value minus cost to sell is NRV. Now I state certain scenarios uh, that can incur that NRV is likely to be less than cost. Now I is discussing what can be the scenarios where the net realizable value can fall below the original cost. So there can be scenarios such as an increase in cost means uh, or fall in selling price means that we are buying in uh, at a greater quantity and we have actually bought the goods in on high prices and now we are forced to sell it on a lower price why because the market has gone down then there is a physical deterioration in the condition of the inventory means the inventory has been physically damaged or it may be out of fashion, it may be obsolete if there is some technological equipment such as phones and laptops and decision is part of the company's strategy to manufacture and sell products at a loss means company is uh, intentionally selling goods at a loss in order to gain a market share or maybe the company wants to drive out of the competitor out of the market therefore they are selling at a loss or there may be some errors so students this was IS2 I hope I was able to convey you the topic uh, behind this uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel kindly do it now thank you